Healthcare workers across the nation have been strapped over the past two years as they battled the pandemic. A big part of that is the need for more people in the medical field. And while it's been more clear than ever, it's not a new issue. Local hospitals have created incentive programs to bring people in, and local universities are placing a focus on pulling students in that they believe will eventually serve in our area. At Washington State University's Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine, they're filtering the applicants based on credentials and geography. Tonight at 6.30, Emily Bloom explains the mission. Emily. Yeah, Aaron, the WSU's College of Medicine was founded as a medical school for Washington with a mission to solve challenging health care problems here. Getting into med school is challenging enough, but if you want to get into this school, you need to know the state of Washington pretty well. We are looking for people who grew up in the state of Washington, who come from here, who have ties to the state, um, because all of those service predictors that our students, even if they graduate and leave for residency to another state, that they're going to come back to Washington. They have a goal in mind. Let's develop doctors who will serve in our own state. Indeed, we are hearing from our students that they're saying, while I'm leaving for residency, my intent is to come back to Washington. So I'm super excited to graduate. Taylor Wintler is from Federal Way, a Gonzaga grad and first-generation college student. The application process for med school is pretty grueling and really competitive, um, but I had my hopes set on Washington State University, Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine. She's a perfect example of the type of student this school hopes to develop. But I would love to come back to Spokane, um, join the ranks of the pediatricians that helped train me, give back to WSU's med school. I would love to be a preceptor for the classes below me. Um, that would be my, my goal. Beyond educating doctors who will serve this area, they have a mission to enroll students who are first generation college grads, come from low socioeconomic status backgrounds, or come from rural backgrounds. I'm a first generation college student. That saying it takes a village, it really does, and I have a really, really big village, and I wouldn't be here without those people. The college believes that these students bring unique perspectives that will help solve challenging health care problems in Washington. So the people that have helped me get this far, I would want nothing more to come back and, and show them um, that all of their efforts were for a purpose. The next cohort of 80 medical students, including Taylor, will be graduating in a few weeks and they're off to residency this summer. Reporting in studio, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now. Thank you, Emily.